Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh here with Piano Marvel, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make videos that look like this. So this technique can be used to live stream on platforms like Facebook, but it can also be used to just record videos that you put on YouTube or even Canvas. Best part of this whole thing is that you can do this for little to no cost by using a free software called OBS. All right, if you're ready to start learning, then let's go. Hey, what's going on everyone? So here's a picture of my setup. Now, what's really interesting about this setup is that I'm doing it with a computer, an iPhone, and a free uh, app called OBS, as I mentioned earlier. So this whole thing, everything that I have here is, I mean, as you can see over here on the side, basically about 30 bucks, maybe 50 bucks if you include the full thing of Piano Marvel. So let me just walk you through what you're seeing right here. Um, I say that you need about four things, uh, an iPhone or iPad with this OBS camera app, um, which here's the iPhone and it's running this camera app, which lets you feed what this is seen, which is the overhead piano shot into this OBS app on the computer. So you'll, like I said, you'll need a computer with OBS that's going over here. You'll need an iPhone holder. That's what's holding my iPhone up, which is then plugged into my computer and you'll need a Piano Marvel account, which I have going here. So that's what you're seeing going on. Um, now, I do have a separate monitor here. I realize that not everyone has a second monitor. There are ways to do it uh, without a second monitor. This is just how I've currently been running things. So hopefully the information that I give you will give you some ideas on how you can do it with what exact technological specifications you have and what equipment you have. So. This is the bare bones, what you need right here, basically these four things. And then we just got to start installing all these different software. So I'm going to give you this document and you can go here and download these three things. First step is you'll need to download OBS. This is the software where you'll be download, where you'll be recording videos from. So you want to download the software. It's downloading. I'm on a Mac and then open it up. and install it. So mine's already installed on there, so I'm just pressing install again, but now it's done. Um, next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is install the camera plugin on your computer. So you wanna click this, click here, whether you have a Mac or Windows, you wanna download the plugin, and then you'll wanna click that and open it. Now, if it won't let you open it, which is what that was just telling me, you'll have to go over here and go to security. So you'll go to security, you have to click on these lock to make changes. And then you'll wanna say open anyway. So open it, this is opening the installer which makes the plugin work so that you can actually use your iPhone as a camera in OBS. So then you'll press continue and you'll install. I've already done that so I'm not gonna press install again. That's what you do though. Last step that you'll need to do is to download the OBS camera app on your iPhone or your iPad. So I'm gonna just click on this link. This shows you what it looks like in the app store, but I actually already did this for you on my iPhone. I'm gonna walk you through what that looks like on an iPhone. So you open up the app store, you click, uh, you search OBS camera, and then you, this first thing right here with this little picture by Will Townsend, you'll wanna download that. It's about $15.99, but it's a one-time purchase. So you wanna download this, press open, and then you'll get some prompts, so just press continue. You'll wanna allow camera and microphone access so that you can use those feeds. Now right here, you wanna click on this cog, and what that does is it lets you change the resolution to 1080p, which is this top one. After you do that, you can then start setting up your camera, put it on its bra um, the little bracket mount thing, kind of like this, and get it set up. I'll do some finishing tweaking later, um, which is actually what is up next. Step four is to set everything up. So after you've downloaded and bought everything that you need and you've installed it all, now it's time to actually open up the OBS camera app, or sorry, it's time to open up the OBS Studio app, which is right here, and actually start making everything get set up. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. 
Okay, so let's open up OBS for the first time. I just uninstalled it and reinstalled it so that we can see what it looks like to use OBS right from the get-go. So I'm opening it up. It gives me this little notification. You want to press open. And now it's giving me, do you want to run the auto configuration wizard? So I'll press yes. Now it's saying, do you want to optimize for streaming or recording? So if you're going to be live streaming on like Facebook and stuff like that, you'll want to keep streaming clicked. But if you're going to be wanting to record stuff and put it on YouTube and stuff like that, you'll want to click optimize for recording. So I'm going to say that next. Now you want to choose the resolution. This is really important. So you want to pick 1920 by 1080. That's the 1080p kind of like visual quality. And then FPS, that's frames per second. You want to pick 30. I think that's going to be perfectly fine for what we're doing. That actually matches the same settings we use we used for the overhead camera, that OBS camera on the iPhone. Now you can click next. It's going to run through kind of applying everything, making sure that it's good, testing it out. Once it's done with that, we then need to start adding all the different things to make this really look like we want it to. So let's click apply settings. I'm gonna to go to full screen mode. That's how I like to use OBS. And if we wanted to, we could start recording. But like I said, there's nothing here. We'd be recording a black screen. So let's add some sources. First thing I wanna add is my display capture. I have two displays and I'm capturing, I wanna capture the Piano Marvel on my second display. So if you click display one, that's where mine is. And if you wanna make this big and take up the entire workspace, you can drag it or you can go up here to edit and click stretch the screen. I learned about that recently, it's super cool. There's also a shortcut for it, so in case you mess up, you can just press Command S and that'll do it for you. So uh, next thing you wanna add is the iOS camera. So you'll click plus iOS camera, okay. And if everything's set up, if you have the camera plugged in to your computer and you have the OBS camera app on, you should have it automatically get selected. If not, you may have to click on this drag down and, and find it. And it's going to be some random string of numbers, but mine was already selected, so I'm going to press OK. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty big shot. We don't want everything here. We only really want the piano. So let's... let's um, crop only the piano that we want. So if you right click and click filters, that'll let you crop it. So down here, you'll see this effect filters. You can click on crop and that's gonna let you do what we wanna do. So I usually drag this window down here to just see visually what I'm doing on the, the workspace. I'll drag it down just a little bit more. And I usually like to go and not see that Yamaha logo. I do the same thing with the bottom. I don't like to see the carpet. So just above the carpet, something like that. So at this point, you move it down here and um, I mean, you're basically good to go. If I were to go in prepare mode, I mean, you're seeing something that pretty much looks like this. So this looks pretty good. Um, the only thing that you'll really need to think about once you start recording is sound. So right down here in the audio mixer, there's some sound. Right now you'd be hearing like doubling because there's sound from your camera and which is the iOS camera app, so from your iPhone. And there's also sound coming from your computer mic. So you wanna turn one of those down. Uh, if you have a fancy microphone, you could add it with audio input capture. I'm not going to really dive into that. It'd be totally fine just to use the iOS camera because that's right above you. Um, but if you do want to get better sound, there is ways to just add it with audio input capture and do all that kind of stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to really jump too far into it, but that's how you would do that. If you have any questions about more things that you'd like to do, like chopping up the video after you record it, I mean, at this point, all you would have to do is press start recording and you're good to go because it looks good. It's a set and forget kind of thing. You start recording and you just record everything you need. And then afterwards, you kind of just take it into a, a video software and you cut it up how you want it to be. So if you do have questions on how to do different microphone things like I was talking about or cutting up the video and all that kind of stuff, feel free to email me. My email is josh at pianomarvel.com. I'm happy to help however I can. Um, but yeah, at this point, you're pretty much 
learned everything that you need to go and that you need to do to get going. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.